Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Punk Rock Review, home of a bunch of opinionated crap you don't care about, also the home of the feedback you provide that we don't care about, keeps us on an even playing field, and we like that. Real quick shout out to our sponsor, Fuck. Anyhow, moving straight into it today, today we're going to be talking about, uh, you know, something that affects everyone that it affects. That's right. Who does it affect? Well, obviously, we already said everyone that it affects. Keep up. Anyhow, we, of course, today are talking about the one and only Walmart, that's right, that big giant mega corporation, uh, changing not only their app, around and such, uh, you know, but also their kind of pickup and return policies. So Walmart changing their app and pickup and return policies. What can be said about this one? Well, you know that we digs most of the Walmart and everything. And uh, man, these motherfuckers went ahead and took something that they were doing inevitably pretty well and such, uh, you know, as far as the ordering and the pickup process and everything like that, as well as the return process. Uh, man, and what did they decide to do? Well, they decided to shit all over it by fucking it up. That's right. So what do we mean by that? Well, man, while it used to be fairly easy to navigate, man, you know, if you wanted a product or something like that, you know, you would search for a product and, you know, lo and behold, you would find it and such and you could add it to your cart and add it to the pickup order and everything uh, and, you know, kind of go about your business. Well, now, uh, you know, if you search for a product, not only does it show shit for pickup, but it starts breaking shit up into different categories like, oh, well, you can pick up this, but this motherfucking thing over here, this is going to be shipped or whatever to you instead of you picking it up. Uh, we'll just mail it to your house. It's like, no, I don't want a loaf of bread mailed to my house, assholes. That's a, just an example. Usually it's, uh, you know, something else or whatever that it might be or might not be. It doesn't matter. Uh, the point is, is it, uh, you know, kind of breaks shit up into the random cat categories and groups like that now, uh, to where it's stuff that you can pick up, and then it's stuff that, uh, you know, they'll fucking ship to you later at some other point in time. It's like, hey, I'm going there to get the shit. I want it now. Uh, so, you know, that's that. Now, you know, you can get over that pretty easily by declining stuff or moving it around or figuring out what you actually do need to pick up and what can be shipped. Sure, that's all fine and good. But what they done did is fucked up their whole entire return policy. So before, man, especially on food pickup orders, that's who this one's going to affect the most. Uh, man, you know, say that you ordered a can of beans, right? And, uh, you know, you get your can of beans and that shit's fucking dented to fuck and it's got botulism coming out of every side of it and such. It's like, man, I ain't gonna eat this shit. Well, before, you know, they kind of took you at your face value and you could be like, hey, man, you guys gave me some fucked up poison fucking beans here. Uh, and, you know, they would be like, okay, no problem. Here's your, you know, dollar back or whatever. Just chuck the product and stuff, throw it away. Well, now I guess maybe too many people were fucking around with that policy or whatever. Now they want you to bring back the one fucked up item that they gave you and you have to actually go in and go to the fucking front and be like, hey man, here's the fucked up fucking product that you guys gave me that I shouldn't have gotten in the first place because you dumbasses that are going through and filling up people's baskets and shit, uh, you know, can't do, uh, you know, any kind of, uh, you know, critical thinking on, huh, should we really put this in someone's order uh, and stuff? So now you're telling me that I got to go back up to the store after fucking getting home and being like, yo, this fucking can of beans will kill me if I eat it. And instead of you just saying like, okay, no problem, chuck it, man, that's our bad. Now it's like, hey, man, uh, you come back up if you really want that 80 cents back or whatever. You think I'm going to fucking spend, you know what gas prices are nowadays? Ah, fucking a lot more than they used to be. Thanks a lot. Uh, but you know, yeah, it's like, man, it's not even worth the headache and hassle. And I don't know if that's what they want it to be or if, uh, you know, yeah, like we said, too many people were abusing the system, but they done fucked up a lot of that shit. And, you know, they were doing so much of it right, man. And we were so, uh, you know, kind of happier with what they had going on and such, but man, talk about a turn for, uh, you know, the worst as far as that goes. So anyhow, that's it. Uh, you know, as far as what we got to say about it, but, uh, you know, We'll see who has the last laugh or word on it, Walmart, if that's your real name. Uh, Walmart changing their app and pickup and return policies. What could be said about you? Well, you get a sad face. You see how sad that fucking face is, Walmart? That's a pretty sad fucking face. I know if there was some asshole on the internet giving us a review and, uh, you know, they did a sad face, we would feel bad about it. So you should probably feel bad about it, Walmart. Have a good one. You probably didn't. We'll catch you next time. Probably won't.